Welcome back to Terraforming Mars! We are playing with Helion Solo, trying to terraform the planet by 14 generations. We are starting this episode, starting Generation 5. Alright, we got a mine going, we got three ocean tiles out so far. We cranked the temperature up twice, not the greatest. Let's go over to our play area. The first thing we do at the start of a generation, we're going to be drawing four cards, and we're going to see if we want to pay three mega credits per card to keep any of them, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so we're going to be drawing four cards at the top of the huge deck, one, two, three, four. And uh, of course these are all shuffled, so I don't never know what's coming up. And that's part of the charm of the game. So we have imported greenhouse gases. Oh, increase, increase heat production one step and gain three. Oh, one step and gain three heat. I spoke out excited there. That was increased three times. That, and we can pay for it with titanium. Oh man, that might be a good one. Mass converter. Titanium minus two. Uh, in fact, when you play a space card, pay two mega credits less for it. And this gives us a science tag, but we need requires five science tags. Increase your energy production six steps. Holy man! Well, um, we're not. We're never getting there. Imported hydrogen as a one shot. We can pay titanium for this one. Three plants or three microbes or three animals. Gain three plants. Add three microbes or two animals and another card place an ocean tile so this is another place an ocean tile that we can pay for with titanium ah, another card that might be worth grabbing soil factory decrease your energy production one step and increase your plant production one step Ooh, lots of um lots of interesting cards i mean i kind of want the mass converter is not going to happen so we're not even going to look at that we're going to dump that one out these three though <sighs> are placing an ocean tile, getting a greenery, or getting three plants for 16. Again, we have such a nice titanium production going on. I think we're not going to do the imported hydrogen, but I think we are going to pay uh, six mega credits, and we're going to keep these two. So for five, six mega credits, we're going to keep those two cards, and now we can start playing actions and what we have so artificial lake we can't do we don't have the requirements you need minus 60 or warmer farming we can't do minus or plus four or warmer so we can't even look at those the two we can look at is imported greenhouse gases which is nice we can pay for it with titanium uh, and soil factory decrease energy production one step and gain a plant production so i think we might actually be doing both of these um so let's go ahead and start with imported greenhouse gases. We can pay for it with titanium. We have two titanium, and that's going to give us six. So we only need one more mega credit, which is easily gotten here, to pay for imported greenhouse gases. So we increase our heat production one, and we gain three heat. So heat production is going to go to six, and we actually gain three heat. So that was a pretty nice card to pick up. Now we have uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 heat stored in our heat area. This one here is also nice. We can pay for it with iron. Or, sorry, steel. We have 2 steel. That's going to knock 4 off of this card. So it's only going to cost us 5. So we're going to spend 5 mega credits to do soil factory. Uh, and soil factory, decrease your energy production one step. Well, that's unfortunate. It's going to knock it down to 1. Uh, but we're going to increase our plant production to one. So at least we've got some plants going now. A little bit of energy, a little bit of plants. Uh, so we've increased our soil production. So I don't know if that was the best idea. But it's what we're working on. Okay. Um, and continuing on, I mean, I can see something we can do right now. We can spend seven mega credits to increase our energy production one. So we're going to do that. Five, six, seven credits. Uh, so we've used this car. You can only use it once per generation. We're going to increase our energy production of one. So we're back up to two. Um, and we can't activate that card. I'm going to have to do a little bit of thinking. I think we're going to take our um, eight energy. And we're going to go ahead and increase our temperature. So five, six, seven, eight energy that we're spending here to go ahead and increase our temperature on Mars. So let's go over to the Mars board and increase our temperature once. All right, I'm quite liking this. So we're increasing our temperature once to minus 24. That's going to give us an energy or an 
energy, sorry, heat production is going to go up one. So we're going to go from six to seven. So I'm doing that off screen here to the side. So we've increased our energy production. We do get a terraform rating uh, increase of one. Because of that, temperature increase. It's all good. I think that's all we can do now out here on the Mars board. So back we go to our player board. Uh, we're going to be doing now the end of generation uh, five, which will be doing the production phase. Okay, we're into production phase time. So of course this is going to come off of here. Resets. Uh, we have energy that's going to move over to heat now. Two of them. So that's okay. Alright, we're going to go to mega credit production. We're sitting now at 20. So that's... We're starting to get a little bit of traction on mega credit production. No steel production. We do have two titanium production. I really like this titanium production. It just keeps cranking out. Uh, we do now have a plant production. So we have one plant, which doesn't seem like much. We have two energy production, which is good. And we have six heat production. So we have the heat pump just cranking out here on Mars. And that is basically the end of generation five. I think, like I said, I think we're doing okay so far. Um, so on we go now to generation six, which will be the last generation for this episode. All right, what do we do at the start of a, a generation? Of course, we grab four cards off the top, one, two, three, and four, and we see if we want to spend three mega credits a card to keep any. Um, robotic workforce, copy a duplicate only production, the only production box of one of your building cards. Duplicate, well, that's not, any use. Ooh, sponsors. This is actually a good time to have sponsors. Increase your mega mega production two steps. That might be worth it because we're gonna we have lots of generations to go. Giant space mirror. Increase your energy production three steps. And we can pay for it with titanium. Oh my god, there's so many good ones. Greenhouse gas factories. Decrease your energy production one step. Increase your heat production four. I don't think oh my god i don't think we need that robotic workforce we're not going to look at forget that one <sighs> i think we're going to get sponsors um we're not going to worry about the greenhouse gases we have lots of heat production we're going to go ahead and get these two the giant space mirror and the sponsors that's going to cost us six mega credits though ten we get four back and now i'm going to have to take a closer look and all my cards again we can't do artificial lake we can't do farming uh, so we have these two to look at let me take a look at the numbers here uh, and come right back and we'll start doing actions all right this is working out nicely that whole titanium production thing is really helping us out so we're going to do the giant space mirror right now 17 well six of it's going to come from titanium so we need 11 so 10 11 and now we have giant space mirrors. Increase your energy production three steps. So we're going to go from two to five. We're producing five energy a turn now. This is really awesome because we want to start using our steel works to produce oxygen. Works out excellently. And we're going to go ahead and do sponsors because that increases our mega production two steps. So it's going to cost us six. Um, for the sponsors so we're just going to go ahead and take our six mega credits off of here we increase our mega credit production by two so now with sponsors we are actually sitting at 22 mega credits per turn we still have stuff to do here uh, generation six we have five six seven eight um, and we're producing seven energy a turn so five six seven eight heat we get to raise the temperature of mars again one step let's go to the mars board and do it all right we're raising temperature again minus 22 it's all good that increases our terraform rating one up to 21 plus the bonus two we get 23 mega credits turn now of course our oxygen is still sitting at zero that's bad but we do have three water tiles out let's go back to our player board uh and we're going to be basically ending off generation six by doing the production phase all right i feel like we're gaining some traction we'll see all right do we have energy to convert to heat yes we do Two move over 
Uh, I'm liking my energy heat production now. This is really good. All right, mega credit time. We have plus two and 21. We're going to get 23 mega credits. 15, 23. That's, that's looking a little bit better. 23 mega credits. No steel production. We do have the two titanium. Titanium production. We have one plant. Uh, okay. Slowly, slowly. We have five energy production now. And we have seven heat production. So our energy and heat production are really smoking along nicely. Uh, and I like that. So that's pretty good. All right. That's going to be the end of Generation 6. Let's go back to the main map, wrap up our episode for today. Okay, it's correction time. Um, <laughs> I ended up, the end of Generation 5, I missed an extra energy in here. And when I paid for the space mirrors, uh, I missed an extra 5. I took, I said 10, 11. It should have been 10 and 11. And so we would have had to take for sponsors, there was there would have been three mega credits left in here. We would have had to rob three energy out of here, which would have left us nine. And then we did um, a heat increase. So any bottom line is we have 23 mega credits now. The end of the generation six, and we have 10 heat in here. Trust me, it's all worked out. So that gets rid of the errors. Uh, so when we start generation seven, this is where we're going to be. Everything's been fixed up now. Apologize for that. And now we're going to get to uh, where I ended off the episode. So thanks so much. All right, that's going to wrap up uh, Generations 5 and 6. We're almost halfway uh, through our playthrough. So we're here to try and get uh, Mars terraformed. We only do have three water tiles out. Our, our heat production, though, we've got a heat pump cranking pretty good right now. Uh, we do need to get some more cards. We do need to start cranking up the oxygen, which we should be able to start doing next time. I mean, we can use standard projects as well. We can spend 11 mega credits to get power production, a power plant. We can uh, increase temperature by an asteroid for 14. We can put down an uh, ocean tile for 18. We can plant, put a greenery tile for 23 or a city for 25. So we, we do have standard actions we can do if we get in trouble. If we don't have cards. But we'll worry about that in the next couple generations or so. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Terraforming Mars. We're doing the solo with helium. Uh, and we're trying to terraform Mars. So once again, we need oxygen all the way to the top. 14% plus 8 temperature. All 9 aquifer uh, ocean tiles out on the board to win the game. So thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next episode, which is going to be Generation 7 and 8.